We're starting something new today. So this series should be in the merit of Rachel Le'abas of Chaim Tzvi, as always. Um, the series is going to be coming from a book called Ohel Rachel, which means Rachel's Tent. Its topic is self-discovery for, for a couple within marriage. It's talking about what a, what a home should be like, the mitzvah that a woman does. So let's get right into it. Okay. So we're beginning with the, um, the introduction. The introduction focuses on the phrase, Tamar lehem b'lashon raka. Where does this phrase come from? It comes from the Torah itself. When the Torah was given, it says, Ko tamar lebet Yaakov v'tageid l'vnei Yisrael. This is what you should say to the house of Yaakov and tell the sons of Israel. So some of you know, Rashi explains that when it says house, it means the woman. When it says sons, it means the men. That part makes sense so far. But uh, he tells us something deeper. There's a big difference between Amira, which means saying, and Dibor, which means telling. Even in English, if you were to say, he told him off, it conveys something severe, something harsh. So the idea here is there's a difference between the way a woman communicates and a man communicates. A woman wants to communicate and, and hear communication in a way that's, that's soft, that's understanding, while a man wants to know how it is. So we're going to talk about everything concerning men and women, beginning from this point. Okay, so what we find is that Everything about a woman, every virtue she has, could be contained in the phrase Lashon Raka, a tongue that's soft, empathetic speech, compassionate speech. Okay, so when uh, the very first marriage, okay, was of course the marriage between Hashem and the Jewish people. So it was Hashem who, uh, who opened himself up to us using the words that we just said. Okay, so what we find there is that the way we receive Torah and every possible advantage the Torah gives us, which is, of course, unfathomable in how great it is, okay, um, the Torah itself was given to both women and men. What was the purpose of the Torah? So it says right there, it's that we should evolve into being goy kadosh umam lechet kohanim. What does this mean, this phrase, goy kadosh, a nation that's holy, mamlechet kohanim, a kingdom of kohanim? Let's focus on this. Kadosh means separate. Separate from what? It can only be separate from. Separate from limitation, separate from pettiness. So the Jews are meant to be separate not just unique and different, but separate from all the things that limit other people, their materialistic self-definitions, etc., etc. I was just in Prague, okay, so you'll probably be hearing a lot of Prague stories today because it's very much on my mind still. It's a beautiful city. Arguably, it's the most beautiful city in Europe. Um, the architecture is stunning, overwhelmingly graceful, the buildings are of like multicolored pastel, full of gargoyles and interesting figurines on them. Very baroque, idols all over the place. You can't, uh, you can't not see them. You go to the central square of the old city of Prague. There's a large um, a church with the famous astronomical clock, a 24-hour clock. On the hour, the idols pop out at you. It's the kind of city it is. What does this have to do with Goy Kadosh? The people of Prague today have gone a step beyond idol worship. You know, people say jokingly, the last ism is materialism. So the shopping streets are, are wide and long and have every possible designer name, every status item. There are beggars on the street. I never saw beggars like these. They don't stand there like this, which is what I'm used to. They kneel on the floor. They're on their hands and knees. They bend over like this, so they're literally prostrate before you. And their heads are cast down to the ground. You, could, you can't really see their faces. And there's a cup in front of them. 
and nobody I saw put in a cent. So there's a reason I'm telling you this. What I saw was the opposite of Kedusha, the opposite of So the limitations that the ancestors of these people had, which you could see through the idolatry that fills the city, has changed. They don't worship a foreign god, they worship themselves. So Jews are meant to be the opposite of that. We're meant to be Goy Kadosh, a transcendental people. We're meant to be Mamlechet Kohanim. The function of a Kohen is to uplift the material world and to draw down holiness. We're meant to be able to do this. So this goal is addressed to both men and women. Kotomar Lebet Yaakov, 